Thing. Welcome to Twitter Math Number Six. Twitter Math Number Six. So, so today I found I saw a neat question asked on Twitter, which is how is is there an easy way to understand why a negative times a negative is a positive? And so I thought we would show an, a kind of a fun example that I I think works. Um, I thought it was pretty fun to think up, and um, just see how it goes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to take a look at first is what we've arranged with our Duplo blocks, which is. 5 plus 2 times 4 plus 2. And what is 5 plus 2? It's 7. 7 times 6. 6, which is? Which is 42. 42. And how, how, where is the 7 times 6 so in our little block? 7 here. Okay. This and 6 is here. Okay, so we got 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 across. And we have 6 up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But we can look at it uh, also this way as 5 times 4, 5 times 2, 2 times 4, and 2 times 2. So we get 5 times 4 plus 5 times 2 plus 2 times 4 plus 2 times 2. And where is the 5 times 4 in our picture? It's, it's this area right here. It's the red area. There's 5 blocks across and 4 up. Where is the 5 times 2? The 5 times 2 is this. It's the yellow this block. This yellow area. Where's the 2 times 4? 2 times 4 is this blue area. Okay, and the 2 this times 2? Is this little square. Okay, so that's pretty neat. We get a nice bit of geometry here, because this is 20 plus 10 plus 8 plus 4. So 20 plus 10 is? 30. Plus 8 is? That's 38. Plus 4 is? 42. Hey, okay, look at that. So, so we get a nice picture of how 5 plus 2 times 4 plus 2 turns into 42. We can either add first and then multiply, or we can multiply the numbers individually and we get this beautiful little picture. Mm -hmm. But now let's take a look at a slightly different problem, which is going to be 7 minus 2 times 6 minus 2. Oops, sorry for bumping the camera there. Hopefully I didn't bump it out of the way. Yep. 7 minus 2 times 6 minus 2. Now what is 7 minus 2? It's 5. What is 6 minus 2? 4. And what's 5 times 4? 20. 20. Okay. Now, let's do the same thing we did before. Let's say this is 7 times 6. 7 times minus 2. Minus 2 times 6. Plus, and then the last one, minus 2 times minus 2. Okay. Sorry for running out of room there. Oh, now, do you see a 20 anywhere here? Yes, it's this, this red area. Okay, so this red area here is 5 times 4. It's 5 by 4 blocks. Okay, so we're hoping maybe, maybe that 20 is going to show up when we do all of this. Do you see a 7 times 6 anywhere? Yeah, it's or? the entire red, yellow, green, and blue. Area. Okay, so our big rectangle is 7 times 6. Now, 7 times minus 2, that's minus 14. What do you think that means? That means Sorry, 7 times minus 2. Probably means taking out this area. Taking that out. 7 times minus 2 we could interpret as taking this away. So taking this part away. Mm -hmm. okay. How do you think you'd like to interpret minus 2 times 6? Probably taking this part away. Okay. So now we've looked at taking this part away. And now we've also looked at, oops, <laughs> I'm trying to reach through the tripod. We've looked at taking this part away. Okay. But the problem is we're taking this little square away twice. Aha, uh -huh. the problem is that gets taken away twice. So but we let's have to look add that. Let's look for a second and see what happens. We get 42 minus 14 minus 12. So what's 42? Let's do 42 minus 12 first. That's 30. And what's 30 minus 14? That's 16. Okay, so we get 16 plus minus 2 times. Oops. Sorry. Mm -hmm. 16 times minus 2 times minus 2. And you see, you've identified what the problem was. This green square we've taken away twice. So when you've taken away something twice, and there was only one of them there to begin with, what do we have to do to make this work? We have work? to add this back in. We have to add it back in. So we've taken it away once, taken it away twice. So this, we have to, turns into minus 2 times minus 2 becomes 16 plus 4. And 16 plus 4 is? It's 20. 20. It gets us exactly to where we thought. So we can see a little bit from the geometry here that minus 2 times minus 2 is plus 4. And it's because we started with something, we took it away twice, so we had to put one of them back 
Mm -hmm. Okay, and this is actually a simple example of a larger principle called the principle of inclusion exclusion that you learn about when you learn about counting. Cool. High five. Good job, sweetie. Good job.